Wow, friends, news just in. Skylar Lane voted off American Idol. Friends, if you think America got that wrong, if you felt it was an injustice that Skylar should not have been voted off, I want you to hit the like button right now. Also, give me your comments. My opinion is I believe she probably was better than Philip Philipson. I don't know. how Holly's pretty good, but obviously the best two, Joshua and Jessica, it's, we hope it comes down to that. And, you know, obviously the problem is the judges couldn't save her. Now, I come on here, friends, as a minister of the gospel. And how'd you get from American Isle to, you know, Christian ministry? Well, there's a judge that'll always use his save to save you, and it's the judge of the universe. The Bible clearly says, shall not the judge of the earth do right. And it also says, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. So there's one judge, by the way, if you don't know it by now, his name's God, the big man upstairs, God with the big G, friends. By the way, if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, you can uh, desire, you can go for it. Also, I got many other Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos via YouTube where I talk about Christianity, the Bible, Jesus, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But getting back to this, friends, the one judge that'll always use his save is God. All you got to do is cry out, ask him to save you. Again, the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Be saved from what you ask. Hey, there's a place of eternal separation from God because when you take your last breath, either the elevator goes up where there's life insurance or guess what? It goes down to the bad place, which is fire insurance. The last time I checked, hell's still hot, but I haven't been there, so I don't know how hot it is. But the point I'm trying to make, friends, is eternity is without end. How long is eternity, you may ask me? Is it a billion years? Is it a billion times a billion years? Well, we're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. When you take your last breath, friends, death is not the end. It's only the beginning. So, hey, if you've never accepted Christ into your heart, he comes by invitation only. Salvation's a free gift. You cannot earn heaven. You can't be good enough. We're all born separated from God due to original sin. So no one goes down to hell because of their sin. They go because of their original sin. Friends, say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, again, Rob Wood here, Rob Wood Ministries. If you want to dis if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. I got many other Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos via YouTube. Hey, let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm praying for everybody under the sound of my voice. Lord, touch them with your mercy, compassion, love, kindness, and grace. Friends, if you think America missed it, I think they do. I think she's better than Philip Phillips. I want you to hit the like button. Give me your comments. Also, give me a comment. Who do you think is going to win the 2012 American Idol season? Remember, friends, go with God. He loves you. He's got a mighty plan for your life. The book of Jeremiah 29, chapter 11, verse simply states, For God has a plan for you, plan for a hope and a future, plans for an expected end. Friends, be blessed in Jesus' name. And of course, you know the scripture, the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Be blessed, the Lord loves you. Go for God.